I spent 52 days building the world's largest hexagonal domino structure. This record-breaking masterpiece uses about 13,000 dominoes. Measuring 52 inches in diameter and standing 32 inches tall, this hexagonal prism is incredibly large and densely packed with dominoes. Each domino needs to be placed piece by piece very carefully. Just one wrong move could send the whole thing crumbling to the ground. The risk involved in making a structure like this is astronomical, but I was up for the challenge. So to start, I just needed a plan. I wanted to make the structure as visually appealing as possible, so each face has a different color and uses concentric hexagons and squares to make a really neat pattern. I'll be building the structure in my living room, which used to be a proper living room, but we actually moved out all of the furniture, so it's completely empty and converted it into my new domino studio. And after cleaning the floor, I was ready to start building. The most difficult part about building something this large is actually just reaching the spots that are hard to get to, making sure that my sweatshirt isn't going to knock down the dominoes, or even dropping a domino into the structure. Domino structures are incredibly risky because if you drop one domino into it, the entire thing is going to topple over. The precision in order to make something like this is at an all-time high, so I was focusing non-stop, tuning out the world, just looking at my dominoes and seeing where I needed to place each one. The thing that kept me going was knowing that I had a full plan laid out. Seeing the end result before I even build it was super motivating to stay focused and keep building no matter what. Okay, I was just placing a domino and out of the corner of my eye I see something move in the structure. Turns out there's a fly in it. Get that fly out of here. If this fly actually knocked down one of these dominoes, I would be so mad. So mad. But there was nothing I could do, so I just continued building and let this fly build with me. It might be hard to tell from the camera, but in person, this structure is absolutely massive. It takes up pretty much my entire width of the living room. Every time I walk into my house, I see a huge structure just sitting there. And even if it's not 100 feet tall, you have to remember that this structure is incredibly dense. Everything inside of it is filled with dominoes that are stacked very carefully and very precisely on top of each other. Day after day, I slowly made progress building the structure higher, and slowly but surely, my plan was coming to life. Let's do the final domino. Lucky red H5 domino creation domino. Here we go. Hey, there we go! 13,000 dominoes! And finally, after 52 days of work, the world record hexagonal domino structure was complete. I just need to figure out a way to topple it. Now I could have used anything to topple this structure. I needed some ideas, so I went onto Twitter and Instagram and asked you, what do you want me to topple this with? Big shout out to Julia Kathleen695 who suggested that I use the inflatable rotisserie chicken from a previous video to knock down the structure. I laughed out loud when I read this response and I was like, we are absolutely doing this. So what if we had the chicken hanging above the structure on a pulley system and then this pulley system gets released by hitting a target. That'll release the string which drops the chicken into the structure. And of course, I had to press the button a couple times because it was just way too satisfying. 
And then, with everything set up and ready to go, I just needed someone to topple it. So I texted my friend Michaela and asked her if she wanted to topple the structure. But I decided I'm going to play a little prank on her. I'm going to invite her to topple the structure, but I'm going to prank her by having her think that the structure fell early before everything was ready. The structure is now complete, but in order to topple it, we're going to need some help. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful! Thank you! This is my friend Michaela. She's going to be toppling this world record dominant structure. I'm so nervous. My whole body is shaking and I'm afraid to breathe on it. I feel like I can't move and I might vomit, but it's okay. I'm so excited and honored to be here, so thank you. All you have to do, you see this target right here? Mm -hmm. Super simple. You just hit the target. You just hit the target. And this is the moment where I realized that in explaining how Michaela should topple it, I accidentally toppled it. Like, I actually toppled it. It fell. This was not part of the prank. I pranked myself. Oh my god. Wait, can I rebuild that? Maybe. I think you can. It's oh not actually God. heavy enough. <laughs> you want to rebuild it? Um, I think you could. I don't know. I'm so scared. Like, if I it. if I pick this up, it it may fall. That's true. It may fall. Shook. I'm shook right oh. now. Oh my God! Wait, it fell on that too. Yeah, I, like hit it and then kind of. Wait. Like, so it like bounced and hit those. Okay, there's. I don't think I can rebuild that. As nerve-wracking as it might be, I decided to take the risk and rebuild it anyway. With all the pressure that came with building this structure, these next 10 minutes were the most stressful moments of my entire life. But luckily, I did it. It's complete again. Yay! And for added precaution, we added a little bit of extra weight to the chicken by putting some boba straws on the string, which would hopefully make it heavier and knock down the structure for sure. And because I toppled it by accident, my prank idea was kind of foiled, so I just let Michaela topple it normally. Alright, let's try this again. You ready, Michaela? Okay, I'm ready. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one! And with that, the chicken was served, and I broke a world record. Please share this video for 52 days of work. It would mean so much to me. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'm Lily Hevish, and keep on building.